Hello to all my friends out there. So if you go out for a hamburger and fries, it is $9.36, not counting the drink. A drink is only a dollar and that puts you up over $10 for a hamburger and fries. Or you can buy two hamburgers for $5 and 30 something cents, not counting the drink, that is $6. So I think what we're seeing is a drastic increase in beef. So I went to Walmart and I was going to buy the partially soy burgers and they didn't have any, but what they did have, I wanted to show you this, is they had this beef, I got two of them, this beef was $11, it's two pounds and three cents. And so what I did is I took my cookie baggies and I wrapped the hamburger and then I put them in a baggie so, you know, they don't get freezer burn or anything. So I'm thinking since we don't want to pay $10 for a hamburger, and it looks like a hamburger is going up. Okay, a ham, one hamburger and fries is nine dollars and something cents. So now that tells me that the fries, well, figure if you buy the two hamburgers, the fries have to be costing at least three, three, four dollars. Okay, so th now this is scary, potatoes. So I saw a lady, you know, in the, in the Dollar Tree buying 20 pounds of potatoes. And I thought, well, I better buy some potatoes. But I like these potatoes. These are not cheap. But in this bag, these are good until 2022. And so I will be buying some potatoes, but mostly I'm gonna buy these packages. I don't like anything that is not in a nice safe package because I want to make sure that in 2022 I can eat my potatoes. So first of all is water, especially if you live in California, then beef, just lurk around till you find a good deal, then potatoes. So now the thing about this is it's worldwide. It's not just America anymore, it's now worldwide. So could, and, and there's just like all these countries in bad shape. Okay, the number three thing is make sure you have things you can make bread. Because if there is no bread, that is going to be so bad. Number four thing, chicken. Make sure you have chicken. What I did is I can still get the five the five um, dollar, four dollars and something cents, but today they had whole chickens at Walmart for a dollar fourteen a pound. But I, I have to eat my food down. Number five thing, bacon. The reason you need bacon is if you should ever have to eat beans. You need potatoes. This is why it's so bad if you don't have potatoes. You know, people go rice and beans, rice and beans. It's gonna be so much less miserable if you have some fried potatoes. Trust me on that one. So bacon, in case you ever have to eat those beans, or you can make ba bacon gravy, and then you have the stuff to make bread, so hopefully you can make biscuits. Number six, eggs. Okay, there, there's no egg shortage, but just make sure you have eggs. You know, buy 60 eggs at the beginning of the month. Milk, buy any kind of shelf-stable milk or canned milk. Just make sure you have some milk because you need it in all kinds of things like gravy, like a lot of, you know, things you don't think about, like uh, cornbread. If you have need uh, buttermilk, you can just add your vinegar milk. Number eight, now this one is really important, seeds. The, the cycle of a plant is 60 days. So from the time you plant it, 60 days later, you should have some food. So they have like, when you're trying to figure out, uh, can you plant seeds? Now we can go forever here because you think about your first uh, frost, but even if you, if you do have an early frost, you're gonna figure out how to grow food in the um, house. Shortening or Crisco, okay, Crisco. Okay, in an emergency, probably your best, best um, 
fat and it's one of the cheapest is large. So what do we have? We have animal products, you know. And then number 10 I would go for is cornmeal. In case you ever have to eat beans, you can have some cornbread with your beans. And I would get a good corn, uh, you know, I saw this, a uh, water cornbread. No, I wouldn't do that. I would make myself a nice little batch of uh, cornbread or fried corn cake. So here is the list of the 10 things. And I would just stockpile up little by little. If you don't have much money, get the partially soy um, hamburgers. Get the cheap chicken legs. Uh, buy bacon ends. Uh, buy powdered milk. Uh, save the seeds out of your food. Buy lard. It's cheap. Uh, go to grocery outlet and you can get the cornmeal cheap. So, okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.